Today I'm seeding some zinnias and these are just beautiful. Um, it's the Dreamland Coral. It's an all-American winner. It has a real nice head on it, the old-fashioned zinnia, but not too tall, so it's great to add to your containers. Um, maybe about uh, 12 inches is about as big as it gets, but it makes such a hardy bush. Last year I had them in my planters mixed with all kinds of marigolds and annuals, and the zinnias lasted all the way to the first snow. So as long as you don't overwater them, that's kind of their enemy. Um, they last a long time. They went through storms outside of my patio and everything else. But um, you're gonna be able to buy a pot of them that you can add to your window box or your container. Because a lot of people, they don't want a whole tray. So if you want one bigger plant, you're gonna get it and just add it into your pot with something else. And then it'll be um, all real colorful. And they come in coral, which is the All-American winner. They come in uh, Dreamland Rose. Rose color is like a dark rose, but gentle color. And they have the red, and we have a yellow. So there's all really pretty colors, but look for them when you come here, because um, they're a great addition to anything that you have outside. Any pot, planter, basket. Um, they're one of my favorite annuals, and it's the old-fashioned annual, I guess what I love about it too. So thank you. What are you seeding today, Wayne? Kale. 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 Okay, in this pot, I'm gonna, I was talking about the zinnias and I was seeding some more today. This is a crimson red zinnia and it's just starting. It looks a little now, but it'll become a large, uh, probably three inch across plant. And this is just one plant and look how big and how many flowers it's already making on it. All these are flowers coming under the foliage and it'll be, it actually could probably fill up this whole pail by itself by say July if I had time, but I did mix other things in with it like the butterfly daisy. So we have yellow with the cute red here and then um, some orange um, million bells. Look how pretty that is. And then we hit a little coleus in here so all the planters are oozing with flowers and I'm anxious for another new one to open called Gallardia. It's the new orange Gallardia. It's supposed to be a beautiful daisy too, but it's not in blossom yet. Then over here we have some purple Bacopa. So look how cute this little container is. It'll sit on your patio, your deck, whatever, for the whole season all the way to a frost. order come in for what we use in our flats today. So what I have to do is I have to go and find these fun little tags through everything here that's all alphabetized and lay them out in front of the plants so the help knows what tags to put in and how many tags to put in each pack. self-serve we have the flats of pansies and violas these are violas um, we also have the six packs of pansies and violas and then we have our cute little eight inch baskets on um, the eight inch baskets are eleven dollars right now flats are 17 and then we also have the six packs which are I believe eight dollars um, and they're like a big three and a half inch size pot in every pack of, of the six packs um, so come on out our hours are nine to five seven days a week. The only time you won't see the wagon out here is if it's a really crummy windy day under 40 degrees. Otherwise, it's out here, self-serve, cash your check, and we'll see you soon. Now these are actually some new planters that we have we're getting ready. They're very heavy. They still smell like wine. This is 
so heavy. Okay, hi guys. Um, I wanted to show you, we haven't had a lot of sun, as we all know, but our little window boxes are coming really pretty. They would be more in blossom right now, but the lack of sunshine, but the plants are growing still. And this whole area, this week is my, like there's planters all over, this is my baby. So I have to figure out where they all go, get the displays going, start getting all these floors clean. Everyone knows I like to clean the floors. I like to clean. Um, so I have a lot of work to do, but I wanted to show you with the cloudy weather how things stretch. When there's a little bit of sunshine or not any, they stretch for the light. So you can see like, I just snipped these on like last video and you can see how they start stretching. So it starts looking wild. So it's been a lot of little obstacles and you've had to kind of come over with this shady weather. Not fun. So every day we're snipping. Um, hopefully some sunshine today will help us. Really new and pretty. Everybody always loves a really pretty daisy. Just looks sunny and fresh. We do have an awesome daisy table. It's relocated this year. So if you're used to coming here, it's at the back of Greenhouse One this year. This is one of my new favorites. Just wanted to show you guys. You can pull yellows, oranges, or even pinks with it. We did it with that little pink um, geranium that's so cute. But it's just so happy to see something beautiful on gloomy days. It gives us hope, right? Petunias from uh, one house and setting them up in number one, our main house, getting ready for opening day. Good morning, we are spacing out our 1099 party baskets and getting ready for opening day. So these are pansies, violas, inpatients, verbena, beautiful baskets. Come see us. Okay, today we are planting yellow celosia, which is a great annual for putting in your pots or putting in a, a flower bed border. It's got a bushy little top on it and it um, just adds some color and some texture to your flower bed. So come on and get your celosia as soon as you can. Be gone. <laughs> the baskets they're all being so big and glisty we're having a triple hook them now and they are going to be so beautiful when we open this is greenhouse eight yeah snipping some baskets and uh, just making sure that they're nice and shaped so we're not chopping down we're just kind of very very lightly trimming and shaping so that way they're ready in another two three weeks um, for the grand opening and uh, they'll be beautiful in full no flat tops here just bushy heads like my mom always says Okay, so I am the monster master of baskets. I make a lot of the monster baskets, and this one has had a lot of um, 
a lot of people have liked it because we just posted a picture of it. So I'll kind of show you. This is one of our large shady ladies. This is the Rocapoco Double Impatient. This is the purple. So if you come shopping, or was it the rose? No, the, yeah, the purple, sorry. And this coleus, trailing plum. So what this is gonna do, it will take sun or shade and it's gonna cascade down beautifully. It'll fill out throughout the whole basket. We have the Wandering Jew. We have some Ivy Geraniums because these can take a sh like a shadier, cooler kind of, you know, area. The Secrecia, which can take sun or shade as well. And that'll spread all over. And let's see, we've got more Geraniums. You can see how beautiful those all intertwine. But this basket's gonna be massive. I had one similar last year. And I mean, it gets like this wide in diameter. You don't have to water. The wind blows and the bad ones kind of come off. You don't have to clean it often. So this is very, very maintenance free of a basket. And I always put mine on a huge pedestal. So if you don't have somewhere to hang a big monster, I tell everybody, get a big, beautiful planter. If you don't want to plant something up, get a big basket and just pop it right in. So that's kind of a little secret I always do. Okay, so something that everyone is noticing when you're building a new house, a lot of people are going with the farmhouse style. The white house, the black window and trim. So I wanted to do, this year we did a lot of, you, you see a lot of black baskets. We started it like a few years ago, but people just love it. So I did some called farmhouse baskets. Next year maybe I'll, we'll see how they sell. Maybe we'll get a cute tag for them. But I did a lot of, people are always asking for like the white, the, the black. You can see this one, it's gonna be huge. I even added some plum verbenas. I did quite a few like this, but in general, all these black baskets, they're gonna match your house really good. So instead of that original green or the tan, you have something that kind of caters to everybody for their tone of their home. I just wanna show you guys, when you take a basket down, how gorgeous they are. You can see they're a lot larger already than what they look. For not having sunshine, these are all right on time. Um, just with the stretching, we're just snipping extra just to make sure they're not looking too wild. But these are gorgeous. This is another one that I absolutely love to show you guys. That is just stunning. It has all kinds of different sun patients, sun begonias, million bells, verbenas, all kinds of goodies. And this one is brand new, a new million bell this year. That one right there. Anybody's looking for something with no petunias because we do get that a lot. Hot, hot sun, drought tolerant, wind tolerant. This is your go to kind of basket. This is going to get a lot larger, but we have the sun patients, big begonias, potato vines, ubies, mazo, and there's even some coleus that'll come out trailing. It's got everything in here, and this can take a really tough, hot, dry sort of area. Um, I have an area with this every year, and it will go through Halloween. It's amazing. That's a good pick. 